from digital fans of you're watching my path to ocp today is day three um actually approaching day four now because of the time differences of my my local time versus the lab's time and today i, I didn't make too much progress um and, and the biggest reason is um as you're going through the labs you're going to be spending a lot of time day in day out in the labs and it's going to become uh time consuming overwhelming and every now and then you just need to step away and get a first set of eyes. And so today I basically went out with uh, my dad and my friends and we did some goose hunting. Um, we got to spend a lot of time outdoors today, away from the computer, having a good time together, enjoying the, um, the mild weather that we're currently having, which is uh, crazy for December. Uh, we're hitting like 45 degrees. Um, it's pretty sunny today, super windy, but still a great day out in the field. And here's a small video just to see uh, how it was today. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement, and I'm reading it slow so I can understand it fully. Appreciate my standing go out of this world and right on time. All right. So now that I got back in front of my computer after spending some time with the family, I did get do a little bit of progress. I was able to uh, to compromise one of the top three boxes, and now I'm really feeling uh, humbled by it. Uh, it. It was a lot of time consuming and um, time time consuming process, and it, it took a lot of time to get through that box, and it probably shouldn't have. Um, there's a couple of spots where I basically just didn't probably enumerate. Um, I, I was sitting there beating my head against the wall, beating my head against the wall, and I reached out to have friends like, hey, I'm hitting this roadblock. I know you got this box done. Uh, what am I missing here? And uh, she's like, check this. And I was like, oh, my God, I cannot believe I missed that. Uh, basic enumeration. It was right there in front of me. Um, I was just not... I didn't have a clear set of uh, a clear set of eyes at the time, so that allowed me to get back on path and compromise that box. So that being said, I got two boxes compromised <clears throat> in this run. Um, I have uh, one of the top three, and I have one within the other network, uh, and I have a couple of my labs done. So what I plan to do tomorrow is I'll probably end up spending some time in the morning with family, uh, try and get some stuff wrapped up for Christmas. And then uh, getting back into the labs later on in the afternoon to work on some more labs. Um, hopefully compromising some more boxes. Uh, I did update my previous video and I put into that previous video a link to the blog where I do have the scripts. So if you're looking for the scripts from the previous video, uh, head over there and check that out. Uh, as I said, I did update that so you can get the scripts. Um, the other thing I've been asked a lot about over the last day or two now as I'm posting these videos is a lot of questions around what is required, what's not required. Uh, OCP, they, they list everything right out on the website. If you go support that offensive, uh, offensive-security.com, you'll get to choose uh, one of the three certifications. Choose P the PWK one, right? Pen testing with Cali. And right here on the main page, they have everything listed out for you. Tells you what you can and can't do in the academic policies, tells you what's required, how to get connected. And if you're still stuck, you come down here and basically uh, send a question to them either on the support forum or uh, through chat or through email. Now, if you ask them through chat or email for some help on a box, looks like you're probably going to get one of those try harder responses or um, a hint that may or may not help you. Uh, with that being said, another thing I've been seeing a lot of people uh, mention has been around... Um, not really getting support, right? Um, this is a $1,200 certification. The concept here is for you to help yourself learn, right? It's it's pushing you to be motivated enough to dig deeper, to understand things, to get that mindset of how things work. With that being said, I fully get you. Um, it's nothing like being stuck for days and days on end and not understanding something and all of a sudden 
find that tad bit of information that could have saved you all that time to compromise that box. Um, unfortunately, that's not how this is. And someone made a comment the other day about comparing this to what if you're a mechanic and you went in and someone told you, oh, just try harder. And you had no idea how to fix that car or how to troubleshoot that car. Fortunately, being a mechanic, there's probably a lot more information out there how to fix something, how to troubleshoot something than there is hacking. Hacking, I kind of equate to almost like medicine. Um, while the base of your information is the same, um, there's too many different variants out there for everything to work the same way every single time. Just like medicine, um, things constantly changing, evolving, new viruses, new strains, uh, new compromises to the human body. Same thing in hacking. Um, every now there's a new challenge, a new security. Um, what works one way doesn't work another way. And, and um, offensive security is notorious for that in the labs. Um, take an example, a common exploit that you can quickly find an exploit DB and you know the box is vulnerable to that, but they've modified something within that box where that exploit no longer directly works. You need to figure out why it doesn't work. You have to understand how the exploit works in the first place to be able to modify that exploit to get the exploit to work. Just like in medicine, you may know that person has XYZ symptom or uh, disease, but it's showing differently or they're in a different stage of that disease and you have to treat it differently. So you have to first identify what the problem is, figure out what how to, how to uh, fix it, and then come up with a plan of attack. And, and maybe this anal analogy doesn't make any sense, but um, I was just thinking of a way to compare it to some of the comments I've seen. Either way, I digress. Um, this is really about my path to the OCP, but I like being able to help answer questions for other people. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video, keep it short tonight. Uh, I'm exhausted. I've been going since about 3 o'clock this morning. And I know I'm going to have to get up early tomorrow to do stuff around the house. So basically, um, some takeaways for today is make sure you set aside time for family and fun. Uh, get off the computer. It's the weekend. Go spend some time outside with your family or friends. Um, and then come back with a clear, uh, clear, set of, uh, clear head and a uh, new set of eyes. Uh, ready to go and maybe that one thing you've been stuck on will now click and you'll be good to go if you find yourself uh, Asking questions about what's allowed what's not allowed how you do certain things check out the support page if that's not helpful reach out to them uh, Go out to the forum. I'm on the forum uh, every now and then so send me a friend's invite on the forum and uh, We could bounce ideas off each other or bounce a question off me um, I'm not gonna say I know the answer um I'm in here to learn just like everyone else is. So uh, I may not know. I don't say I know everything. Uh, I've been doing uh, information security for about 15 years and only really the last eight years focusing pr um, mostly on pen testing. So uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Uh, but if I don't know something, I go out and find it out. I figure it out. Uh, I do stuff like OSP. I go out and learn, dig deeper. I take other classes, other certifications. Um, I'm constantly trying to educate myself to keep myself sharp. So guys, um, if you like these videos, I know today is a little weak in the video, but uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, share it out to your friends, and hopefully as the next few days go by, uh, maybe a little bit more after the holidays, you'll see a, a ramp up of more compromised machines, more tips and uh, hints uh, that can be shared with you guys. Um, until we meet again, have a good night. Talk to you later.